The Olive Branch Project has started implementing its healthier living component into the nation's schools. Aquaponics, along with the introduction of Taekwondo into the school's curriculum, adds to the holistic development of today's youth. So says Olive Branch Project representative Master Melvin Kutain. Kutain says the system was designed by Rakesh Bukal, an engineer at Aquatic Solutions out of Trinidad and Tobago. He has, he's a designer, also an engineer. This design here is his personal design. He has several other designs. So basically this um, system here is a modernized system with that international standard. And it also will be copyright and patented. Anybody who had to build that system, they had to come to us. We had the teaching tools and materials so the children could use in the classroom. So um, we have to look for funding. The rights for that, I have the copyrights also to those books and things. Under the, the, um, the author who produced the book is a few persons who come up with the ideas. Kutin says the system will be up and running just in time for the new school term. But basically, um, the system is at the Woman Methodist School, which one of the schools we're using as the headquarters for the schools within Grenada to do this whole aquaponics system. Um, presently, Wester Hall Secondary School system is start building. We have GBSS and presentation schools will be followed, Home Ethic School. And when we get the school going, other schools will be followed. But um, with this system, the children could be fed um, through the school feeding program. Um, this could help them give them a meal. Also, the 4-H club could be studying the plants and things. This is a whole new way of doing um, agriculture. The Olive Branch Project representative is asking that communities come on board with this initiative. Whatever vegetable you want to do, you can grow it in, inside of the system, whether papaya, just name it. So scientifically, this will be taught in the school hoping the community also could get involved because it's in the school, so therefore the teaching tools will be for the community and the children can take it home. And that also could help with food security. The project's funding was provided by the GEF Small Grant Program and has received support from the UWI Chemistry Lab. Christina John for GBN News.